trees are an asset to any property. While they are aesthetically pleasing to the eye, there are literally hundreds of other reasons they are beneficial to our way of life. Our passion for tree care continues to grow because every day we see the positives of fostering proper tree growth and care. But what would be the world without trees? It's a worst case scenario, but it's one we should think about considering how dependent humans are on trees for survival. Imagine if there were no more trees in the world. It's an awful thought. No more shady leafy canopies. No more scented pine needles on the ground. No more flowering magnolias or cherry blossoms. No more protection from frigid winter winds. The world would seem naked without trees. But their loss would go far beyond the aesthetic. Over time, it would be impossible for the world to go on existing without the presence of trees. We rely on trees for oxygen, for preventing flooding and erosion, for filtering pollutants, for generating rainfall that feeds our crops, and so much more. A world without trees would be no world for humans. Tree services to this planet range from carbon storage and soil conservation to water cycle regulation. They support natural and human food systems and provide homes for countless species, including us, through building materials. Yet we often treat trees as disposable, as something to be harvested for economic gain, or as an inconvenience in the way of human development. Since our species began practicing agriculture around 12,000 years ago, we've cleared nearly half of the world's estimated 5.8 trillion trees. According to a 2015 study published by the Journal of Nature, much of the deforestation has happened in recent years. Since the onset of the industrial era, Forests have declined by 32%, especially in the tropics. Many of the world's remaining 3 trillion trees are falling fast, with about 15 billion cut each year. The Nature Study states, in many places, tree loss is accelerating. In August, the National Institute for Space Research showed an 84% increase in fires in the Brazilian Amazon rainforest compared to the same period in 2018. Slash and burn is also especially on the rise in Indonesia and Madagascar. Barring an unimaginable catastrophe, however, there's no scenario under which we would fell every tree on the planet. But imagining a dystopian, Mad Max-style world in which all trees on Earth suddenly died can help us appreciate just how lost we would be without them. So what would actually happen if all the trees died? After the planet's 3 trillion trees vanished, oxygen levels would begin to fall and dioxide levels would begin to rise. However, humans wouldn't notice anything for a while as the Earth takes time to adjust its atmospheric composition. Your stress levels might increase slightly, if not from the state of your garden, then from the fact that trees aren't present to lower your stress-related hormones, cortisol and adrenaline. Most of the Earth would experience extreme weather events like hurricanes and flooding. With no tree roots to absorb water from the soil, there would be frequent surface runoff. As a result, major floods. Roots are a great tool that holds soil together, so without them, there would be topsoil erosion, landslides, and sediment deposit in rivers. The latter could be detrimental to fish and other lake species. Rainfall would be becoming a rarity as trees absorb water from the soil and release it through evapotranspiration. That means less clouds. Lands would quickly dry out as trees aren't there to re-moisten the atmosphere. Massive erosion would impact oceans, smothering coral reefs and other marine habitats. Islands stripped of trees would lose their barriers to the ocean, and many would be washed away. In addition to mediating the water cycle, trees have a localized cooling effect. They provide shade that maintains soil temperatures. And as the darkest thing in the landscape, they absorb heat rather than reflect it. In the process of evapotranspiration, they also channel energy from solar radiation into converting liquid water into vapor. With all those cooling services lost, most places where trees formerly stood would immediately become warmer. Humanity's suffering would begin well before catastrophic global warming took place, however. The increased heat, disruption of water cycle and loss of shade would take a deadly toll on billions of people and livestock. Poverty and death would also descend on many of the 1.6 billion people who currently rely directly on forests for their livelihoods, including for harvesting food and medicine. More people still would find themselves unable to cook or heat their homes, given the lack of firewood. Around the world, those whose work revolves around trees, whether as loggers or paper makers, fruit growers or carpenters, would suddenly be jobless, devastating the global economy. Agricultural systems would likewise swing wildly out of whack. Shade crops like coffee would drastically decline, as would ones that rely on tree-dwelling pollinators. 
due to temperature and precipitation fluctuations. Places that formerly produced crops would suddenly fail, while others that were previously unsuitable might become desirable. Over time though, soils everywhere would become depleted, requiring significant amounts of fertilizer for crops to survive. Further heating would eventually render most places uncultivatable and unlivable. The wave of extinctions would extend beyond forests, depleting wildlife that depends on single trees and small stands of trees as well. Even a single isolated tree in an open area can act as a biodiversity magnet, attracting and providing resources for many animals and plants. Therefore, losing even individual trees can severely impact biodiversity locally. Many animals that once depended on trees for food and habitat would start going extinct. The food chain would begin unraveling from the bottom upwards. Natural scavengers would likely survive the longest, feeding off other dead beings. We would start noticing accelerated effects of global warming. The polar cap would melt due to rising temperatures, causing a rise in sea level. Many of natural springs would be contaminated. Large amounts of carbon would also run into the oceans, causing extreme acidification and killing possibly everything but jellyfish. On top of these devastating changes would be health impacts. Trees clean the air by absorbing pollutants and trapping particulate matter on their leaves, branches, and trunks. Researchers from the U.S. Forest Service have calculated that trees in the U.S. alone remove 17.4 million tons of air pollution each year. At least 850 lives are saved as a result and at least 670,000 cases of acute respiratory issues are avoided. The rise of CO2 and lack of O2 would start causing lightheadedness and concentration problems, so people with respiratory and blood issues would start dying first. Without trees, air would become contaminated with pollutants. As a result, rain would often be acidic, causing death to any remaining herbal life. All told, human beings would struggle to survive in a world without trees. Urbanized Western lifestyles would quickly become a thing of the past, and many of us would die from starvation, heat, drought, and floods. Earth that we'd know would become a desert-like place. We'd be long gone, and if not, our species would be close to extinction. Surviving communities would likely be those that have retained traditional knowledge about how to live in treeless environments, such as Australia's aboriginals. No wildlife would exist on Earth, but it's possible that some marine life would be able to tolerate the new conditions. On the other hand, we suspect that life would only persist in a Mars-like colony, enabled by technology and entirely divorced from the existence we have always known. Even if we could live in a world without trees, who would want to? This planet is unique from everything else we currently know in the universe because of this unexplainable thing called life. And without trees, almost all of it would just be screwed. Thomas Crowther Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to push that notification button so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video.